Okay, so there's gonna be a review of Hearts of the Caribbean: The Legend of Jack Sparrow for the PS2. And let's first, let's start off with the story. Basically, Jack and Will are off on another adventure after the first movie, and this time they're trying to find the skull of Teowakata, which is in Panama. But then, like the other crew members that they're sailing with, ambushes them and just leaves them. So Jack. So when Jack and Will are about to get hanged in the morning, he basically tells all of his greatest adventures to stall time. And the first fellow is mentioned in this game as one of Jack's greatest adventures. I think the plot is actually really unique to the game because it ties up a lot of things that are mentioned in the movie but are never seen. And as you can see in the right in the right hand bottom corner that this game isn't actually produced by the Walt Disney Company. It's actually rather produced by the Bethesda, I think it's pronounced. And also you also get projectile weapons instead of, but you don't get the pistols and all that, but you get special projectiles. You can play as all three characters. Jack, You can play as Jack Sparrow and his signature projectile weapon are Grog Bombs. Will Turner, you guys play as you play as Will Turner, and his is Hatchet, and that's better if you want like a swiffer kill. Same as Elizabeth, her attack are Hatchets, and they could also do like special fighting moves, like special moves that um, when you're when all like the like, then, like, when, like, the number of projectile weapons you have are to 10, you can do, like, special moves that you unlock later in the game, and you can also unlock, like, newer swords. So, um, the fighting in this game is actually pretty good, but, um, it gets repetitive after a while, sadly. Um, there is, like, a bonus content feature in this game, I'm pretty sure, because... Um, you, they give you the option to collect map pieces. So I really like this game. The the graphics are good too, as you can see in the picture. It actually like does the movie justice. So I give this game like a ten out of ten. That's all I can give you right now. Ciao.